big haul showing everything that we got. We spent a lot of money. That was intense. Yes. <laughs> I'm very tired. Go big or go home. Uh, I spent so much money. It's ridiculous. Look at all these business cards. Cool. Look at this shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, I didn't get that business card. <laughs> I got Steven Universe postcards and I was so happy. Oh no! I've been looking my whole life. I was, and I found some really cute. <laughs> I also got this really cute print by An Anua Anja 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 Huren. Dot com. <laughs> it's really cute. It's called Ladies Night. I got a cat that's in <laughs> huge. Absolute mood. Oh, it's my big, my big toy. Uh, oh, I love this one. It's got dinos. It's got a dino. It does! <laughs> <laughs> a really cute Pluto. Stay in school. I'm gonna put these on my jacket when I make it. Yeah! <laughs> you're not Am I in... close. Yeah, you're so close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got this. I believe in you. I'm so weak. Pluto so says, stay in school, kids. <gasps> Guys! This is the most exciting one. I got a whole book <laughs> full of <laughs> full of illustrations of doggos of good boys and it was for charity and it was and it's amazing. I flipped through this like at least 5 times now and I haven't gone through it like intensively yet, but I fell in love with it and it was worth every pound. <laughs> Look at how good these boys are. Am I right? It was like a collective zine thing that a lot of artists contributed to. Look at these good boys! Oh my god! They're little constellations. A space dog It's Candy Majeure. <laughs> so this was my best buy. No, it wasn't. It was the second best buy. Tell me right. <laughs> Y'all ain't even ready! Oh, I'm gonna see what are cool. in these pug stickers. This was like one of the cutest business cards I saw today. It's like a little um, character attack card thing. Like, what's it? What do? You, what would you describe this as? What's the, the word? Business card. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a card game. Why is he so worried? <laughs> Who he, is coming he, for him? He's a worried boy. Look at him. And I also got this really cool print and by a free one. By Daniela Vissosa, she's a Portuguese artist. I met two Portuguese artists there today. Three, actually. And now for the showstopper. This is the best thing that I got today. The best thing. You guys aren't even ready. I cried when I saw this. It is Sailor Moon Jeff Goldblum to go with my Jeff Goldblum it's pillow. Jeff Gold Moon. Tell me it's not the best thing you've seen all day. Because it was the best thing I saw all day. I love that this is your branding now. Jeff Goldblum is Jeff. He's a beautiful yeah. Sailor Moon. He's beautiful. The pandas are assholes. Would you like to elaborate on that? Pandas are assholes. <gasps> I got these really cool postcards. They're cool. They're cool. This one's upside down. They're cool. I will eat everything you love. I got these. These are like also some of my favorite things that I got today. They're like, woo! There's some prints of some Sphinx cats because I love them. Look at how cute they are. Oh! This is also a really pretty business card that I saw. All these business cards are so pretty. I love the squirrel. And I got this really cute. Um, her name's Alice. Yeah. And I got this really cute print of, from her of like a bunch of like little horticulture witch stuff and it's real cute. I love it. If you guys couldn't tell, we spent a lot of money today. Dude, dude, I love this kitty. He's such a wise kitty. Oh, look at this good boy. I oh, know I have that good boy. Oh, that's a good Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. <gasps> it's a dino. It is. I didn't see that, I just got that side. <laughs> oh, so I love this one. Did you get this one? No, you didn't. It I looks didn't. like a playing card. It, yeah. It's real cool. Yeah. And it's got that side. Yeah. Okay. Was that the Portuguese one? No. Are you sure? Yep. Where did I get this one from? The Portuguese one was called Ricardo. 
Ricardo Pesta. So the Portuguese Richard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the guy that I met that was Portuguese. He's close to my hometown, uh, but he lives in London now. And we were just kind of chatting. And he was really sweet. So this is my chosen pile of things to put up Wait, on my how wall. how many prints do you have? <laughs> Are you comfy there? Uh... I completely forgot to mention this earlier, but yeah, a bunch of my prints uh, arrived today, which I'm really excited about. I literally just packaged a bunch of orders as well. They're already there for me to send off tomorrow morning. And uh, I just have to mention how obsessed I am with how these prints came out. The quality is just like mind blowing. I am so, 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 so happy with how these came out. And like the paper quality is really good as well. I'm just really happy with how Urban Blur came out. Also Whisperer came out really well. The watercolor uh, print, I think it looks really nice. I think for a watercolor print, it's, it's it looks really good. Also, uh, all of the uh, awesome merchandise ones because I ordered a bunch from awesome merchandise and a bunch from printed.com uh, But I do think that I'm gonna start ordering purely from printed.com because the quality is like a lot better and it's also a lot cheaper to uh, Get prints done from there. So I think I think that's uh, that's a winner at the moment But yeah, I mean they didn't turn out too bad the ones from awesome merchandise uh, I think the only ones I'm really happy about are the uh, seven o'clock prints of this like little it's like sunset sky I haven't filmed anything in absolutely ages uh, and I'm really sorry about that but a lot of things have been happening and yeah uh, we got a new um, housemate and she moved in and it was all very very good uh, so we had a lot of things happening in life and we start uni next week as well so I've been getting a lot of stuff done before that um, but today I got something really cool in the in the post and I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about it. So I got this package from Australia, which was already very cool. And I got a little note with it that says, Hi, Philippa, uh, your art skills are incredible. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a gift from us. It's our Tempus pen. You just draw it over your skin thick like icing cake and leave it on for around 90 minutes. It will then dye your skin a blue-black color. It's made from all natural ingredients. Can't wait to see what you do with it. Send us some pictures, etc, etc. Thank you, Josh, from Tempu Skin. So this is, um, from what I'm aware, like um, a sort of henna tattoo situation happening, but apparently it, it's supposed to last longer than a normal henna tattoo. And it says it's all done from all um, organic ingredients. 
like really cute. I, I quite like the packaging of this. So I thought I'd like, you know, show it to you on camera. <laughs> All right, so I open it and inside it, it comes with like this little cute card that has like the instructions in the back. Cool. So uh, I thought, because I've got a lot of allergies, and I thought I would do like a little spot test first before I, try, I genuinely try this. All right, so apparently it does some cool tattoos that last 8 to 16 days and they uh, are meant to look like bluish, purplish in color. So it's basically a henna tattoo but in a different color. Oh yeah, so it comes with like a little rubber protection thingy. Uh, it looks like a needle, it's quite scary, but I think I was planning on doing it on my ankle because I'm going to be filming a video shortly, so uh, maybe my ankle's probably a better option because I won't touch it or rub it anywhere. I'm going to do just a little star. Ooh, Ooh the color's so cool. Oh, it's coming out with a lot of bubbles. It's very goopy. It's not like henna, henna consistency at all. It's quite, this is the saddest star I've ever seen. <laughs> it kind of has the consistency of like a face mask. It's like that goopy. So I, I kind of sort of did a star. I'm gonna do a little moon. I know I, I said I was gonna do a spot test, so, and this is quite a big spot test, so if I get an allergic reaction, uh, at least it'll be an aesthetic allergic reaction. <laughs> Am I right, guys? So I'm gonna leave this on for an hour. And meanwhile, while that's doing that, I'm gonna film a video for you guys and I've got a lot of things that I am getting ready for. Oh, and that's another cool thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that I, my bag for my pens, my bag for my pens arrived. I know I mentioned this in my three market challenge video that I ordered a pen bag, but it still hadn't arrived. It looks a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So let's see if they actually fit in this. Uh, and then another thing that I'm going to be trying to do next week, because I still don't have uni next week, only the week after that, um, I'm going to be trying out different ways to do stickers, because I want to do stickers on my shop very shortly. So yeah, I want to try doing them by hand and then comparing them to a batch that I get um, online from like an actual printer company. And I want to kind of see which one is more, you know, financially beneficial to me. <laughs> I guess that's it. I'm gonna also film now a sketch with me video because you guys seem to really love the last one and you've been asking for me to do another one since. So I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, I don't think I showed you guys how my um, wall turned out the other day when I put up all my thought bubble stuff. So this is what it looks like. And I've basically just put up all the, the, the favorite prints and uh, business cards that I got at thought bubble. And I put some on the side here as well because I was running out of space. Um, that's also a print I got from Hey Kala that I love, love, love. Um, and then I just kind of put up some family pictures and um, some other prints up there. Um, I got a Jeff Goldblum poster right here. And I also put some over there on my wall next to Mikey J. Hey. Because uh, again, running out of space. There we go. There they are. I'm going to go and film my video. hours and I finished filming everything I needed to film and I've got a party tonight so uh, I've been trying to get everything done during the day um so yeah actually I completely forgot about the spot test <laughs> that I just did earlier for the um, tempest ink so I'm gonna just peel it off now uh, or wipe it off I think you have to wipe it off yeah I'm gonna just grab a wipe so as we all remember we did a little spot test here on my ankle and um, it says to leave it on for like an hour to an hour and a half, but it's been pretty much like five hours since I put it on, which, um, yeah, that was great, Piper, great. Okay, so it comes off really nicely, and it leaves, it, rem it leaves like a very faint, like, little line, but I think it says it takes 24 hours for the tattoo to, like, reveal itself in 24 hours. Um, so I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow and see if this looks cool. I mean, I didn't get an allergic reaction to it, so that's good. Hey 
Hey everyone. So I'm talking quite quietly because I don't want to wake up my flatmates. I started Inktober the other day and it was like the best day. I'm so excited for Inktober. It's like really exciting and I'm going to be adding all of the uh, prints and everything to the shop and also the originals and everything of everything I do for Inktober. And I'm currently talking to you as I'm getting ready to leave the house because I've got counseling today um so i'm getting ready to go i've also got like a huge time gap between my counseling and uh, my eye appointment so i might go try and do some thrifting i want to i want to go to like charity shops and have a look around i haven't been to a charity shop in ages so it's also like ridiculously windy outside and i'm really scared i'm gonna be blown away <laughs> so pray for me guys I also wanted to like give you guys an update on the tattoo situation with Tempo Sync. Tempo Sync. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is what it looks like a couple of days later. It's not like purple or blue, um, so to say. It's like a big greenish blue if you if you look at it properly. So there you go. It's like kind of greenish. Yeah. I mean, it's cute and it, it it doesn't like rub off or anything, and it's quite opaque. As I said it would be, I'm gonna do some more trials with it. And I didn't like get an allergic reaction to it whatsoever, so <laughs> that's a good a good sign. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's uh, a couple hours later, a lot of hours later actually, <laughs> since I spoke to you guys this morning and I went to counseling. That was, you know, <laughs> uh, at least I had my little uh, glittery, dinosaur socks <laughs> and uh I, actually i went to a charity shop so to, i wanted to do some thrifting because i was like treat yourself you know and i actually got like three really cute pieces and i thought i'd share them with you guys so i found this really cute like lettuce hen stripey t-shirt um which is really really cute i also found this really cute shirt that's got like a ruffle hem at the bottom and i'm like obsessed with those so i got this cute one and then lastly, I found this really cute, uh, this really cute shirt that's also stripey. Um, it's got like really cute like flare sleeves, bat sleeves or whatever. Really cute as well. It's also stripey. I also stopped by Paper Chase because I had some time to kill, and I bought. <laughs> I was so weak, and I bought like these two sketchbooks that I found, and they were like so cheap. I was really shocked. So um, they're really cool sketchbook so they've got like uh three parts of so the they've got uh normal white pages but then halfway through the book they've got like textured brown paper like recycled brown paper and i that really caught my eye because i've been as you know i'm trying to like experiment with different types of paper especially for life drawing and stuff so i was like oof that's a buy and also guys three pounds a paper chase three pounds um, the, the problem was when I saw they also had a big square version of it, so uh, I got both. So the square one was £4.50, which again, a bargain. Uh, yeah, I know I've only just started my new sketchbook, but I'm already excited to start the new one. Um, I really do have a problem, huh? Um, I'm also working on some really cute little um, drawings on my iPad of Ella and uh, Sasha, my two OCs. They're so cute. <laughs> Just the right guys. How exciting.
everyone. So um, today is Saturday and I am 100% not leaving the house because I, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I've been having really bad migraines and uh, what's the cue for that? Looking at screens for a bit longer. <laughs> so today I thought I would um, try out doing a little, a new header because I've been wanting to change my header for a while because I kind of I was getting bored on my last one. Actually, while I was planning out my new header for YouTube, uh, Hungry JPEG were really sweet and they reached out and asked me if I would like to try out their new October set of uh, fonts, graphics, and like basically vectors and everything like that. And I'm a hoe for vectors and um, illustration thingies. So I was like, oh my God, yeah, I do. And um, yeah, so they sent it to me and I am like really impressed with how amazing this set is. So they sent me uh, their October package bundle, which retails for $29 at the moment, which is, can I just say, a freaking bargain because you get 39 different fonts, all of them so cute, by the way, amazing. I was going through them last night and I was like, how do I put 39 different fonts on one header? Please, someone help explain. <laughs> and also you get 11 graphics packs, stuff that you can use uh, in Photoshop and everything uh, that have transparent backgrounds and non-transparent backgrounds. And all of their bundles come with their complete license. So, and it's completely like free of charge. You don't have to pay extra to have their complete license, which is something that I found really cool because uh, sometimes you have to like credit um, your websites that you're using when you get templates and stuff from them and like, uh, graphics and stuff, but with Hungry JPEG you don't have to. Yeah, you can just use it for commercial use and everything and you don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean that's pretty cool, but if you're just looking for like a one-off thing, they have like one dollar fonts and it's really cool because you're like, you know, supporting the artists that are making these and also you get a font for a dollar, like guys <laughs> like they're not sponsoring this video and uh, I just really wanted to give them a shout out for um letting me try out their stuff because I'd never heard of them and now I'm a huge fan. So um, I, I do stand by them. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of try out some different banner styles and designs. Uh, some using the hun- Sorry, my teacup is making a lot of noise. Some I'm gonna try using like some of the stuff from Hungry JPEG and others I'm gonna try and do stuff more uh, like drawing it out with my tablet because I really like the, the drawn out look. So I, I just thought I'd kind of show you guys a little bit of my process when I'm doing a YouTube banner. That was cold. Mm.
Bye. 